Hello there, it's uh, been a while since I made my last video. I uh, apologize for depriving the world of my insight. <laughs> anyway, I want to talk a little bit about the Occupy movements across the world. Uh, I don't really want to make a video about it because it's a bit like cliche, but um, I think most people are completely polarized on their opinions about it. Uh, you, you either love them or hate them, and quite frankly, I'm kind of in the middle, uh, a little bit more on the protesters' side. Uh, I would much rather live in a world where these protests uh, were taking place than ones that didn't. I'm glad that people, uh, if they're annoyed at, them, at something, that they go out and protest. Uh, the only issue for me is I don't really think the protesters have a clue what they're protesting about. Um, first and foremost, they're against capitalism, which is just uh, stupid, basically. Uh, I'm not one of those people that's going to say, oh, capitalism brought you Steve Jobs. Capitalism has done so much. You know, I think uh, hard work and talent plays a big part in it as well. Um, but capitalism is an integral part of the way our society works. So getting rid of it is just stupid. I think they really need to be protesting against greed instead of capitalism. I really want to go down to the Occupy London movement and hand out A4 sheets of paper and ask the protesters to write one side on what they think capitalism is and I bet they would fail instantly in like a 15 year old politics class or something you know uh, all they think capitalism is is just people making money really quick and not giving a shit about anybody else and, and that's just not true uh, and they think that capitalism is what got us into the mess that we're in now it, it didn't get uh, capitalism capitalism is not what got us, us into this mess excuse me it's the abuse of capitalism that got us into this mess capitalism by its definition is about competition and if you suck you fail so you have to be good at what you do and the reason the world is in the economy is in the shits is because we bailed out people for failing and that's why we fucked up uh, I don't appreciate also the protesters having a go at bankers because let's be honest bankers are just greedy motherfuckers they're gonna do that no matter what. They should be protesting the governments that allow them to do this stuff. So I, I really do have a problem with the way the protesters think and the way that they, uh, the places where they aim their anger at. I think they're quite misguided. Um, but like I said, I am happy that they're there and I do support their cause. Absolutely. I, I am a socialist <gasps> by like nature. You know, I do believe in, you know, like helping out the less needy in society. And I do not like seeing people earning millions and millions and millions of dollars for really doing nothing other than manipulate the system. So I'm completely on their side by that. But again, I just don't think these guys know what they're doing. I think that most of them, not all, I think most of them are just there because it's a counterculture and it's fun and cool. And, you know, um, although I must say, I don't appreciate when the media criticize these people for, uh, you know, they're against capitalism, but they drink Starbucks or oh, they all go home to their houses in uh, in uh, suburbia, suburbia, you know, I don't appreciate these character assassinations because uh, just because you're from a privileged background, that does not mean that you can't give a shit about the way the world has worked. That's like saying if you're an Englishman in 1960, you don't need to have an opinion about apartheid in South Africa because it, it's across the world. It doesn't concern you. You know, I think it's good that people can see injustice uh, that doesn't directly involve them and can be annoyed about that. I think that it, that is a good thing. So, yeah, as much as I dislike um, a lot of the way the protesters work, I am still pretty annoyed at the way that they're being portrayed. Um, people have said it a million times, I want to bore you, that like everyone's so cool with the Arab Spring, everyone's like happy and like, look at the Arabs and their democracy, isn't it beautiful? And then as soon as uh, people in the West, industri in industrialized countries, try to protest, then we're just like hippies and like horrible people and, uh, you know, pampered and privileged you know I just don't understand what the difference is really ultimately between us and the people in the Arab Spring in fact I think it's a really sad state of affairs that this all came about really from inspiration from the Arab world and you know you guys know my opinion on the well let me just say the Muslim world how the fuck are we taking inspiration from that part of the world? I mean, it's fantastic that the Arab Spring has happened, but isn't it a sad state of affairs that we in the West take inspiration from them? Isn't it the, is it, wasn't it the other way around? You know, did they really get any inspiration from us, or did they maybe see our, our life and think, fuck this shit, you know, let's, let's make a noise, you know? 
I don't know. I think I'm going a little bit off topic here. But uh, basically, yeah, I, uh, I think that the way the protesters are being treated uh, and portrayed is a bit bullshit. Um, I wish the protesters would maybe read a book or two or perhaps come up with an alternative, uh, you know, ideology or way of working things. And, um, yeah, you know, man, like... Uh, keep the protesting up but for god's sakes like fucking learn what capitalism actually is and a uh, little little subject to the end you know seeing as i like to have a little smack at religion every now and again the situation in london if you don't know is by st paul's cathedral i think and the church have been like trying to get rid of these people because they can't get in the tourists they can't charge these guys 30 quid just to walk inside this building so it's great the church are really showing its true colors you know uh, uh, in all fairness a few priests have been uh, on the side of the protesters but yet yeah, again it's just uh, a religious group who like to fucking say they're all moral and like quote their Jesus all the fucking time but as soon as it really comes down to the crunch and these guys are basically doing what Jesus would be doing they're like no I don't want to do that really they're just businessmen at the end of the day so actually maybe it's quite quite appropriate that they're outside of uh, St. Paul's and not the uh, 10 Downing Street which is where they should be they should be at the freaking White House, they should be at 10, 10 Downing Street, they shouldn't really be in the public causing a nuisance, I don't really care if they want to be there, but there are lots of fucking stuck up their ass people in England and America who see this and they just don't like it because you're creating public space, so you're, you're making the public look not very nice, so please, like, try and move somewhere a bit more appropriate and stop going after greedy bastards because they're just fucking arseholes, who gives a shit about them, we should be really caring about the way the, what the government's role is in this entire thing and we would not be in the situation we are now if the government didn't fucking screw us over and help their bank friends earn millions uh, yeah I mean basically stop fucking criticizing capitalism have a go at the lobbying system and the way in which democracy is made and I'm sure a lot of them are but as far as I'm concerned a good 70% of the people who are at the Occupy movements are just there because it's probably free weed which uh, is so I'm going down there tomorrow. Mm -hmm.